And I have to say, Chris, I noticed today a lot of retailers yeah. were incentivizing you to spend by them uh, offering something <laughs> and then they would donate right, to right, Toys right. for Tots or another charity, which, 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 which is win-win. It's an easy way to give back on this Tuesday. Uh, Marquina yeah. Brown joins us now. Marquina, there's yes. haze, there's fog, you're cold in the bay and then you're uh, hot out inland. Yeah. What's you know, going on? Yeah, today was really kind of a complex forecast because we really didn't get the warmth that we expected because we're dealing with the low clouds, the fog and the haze, as you mentioned. Still at this hour, we expect it to be completely clear by now. And mind you, lots of folks are, but the ones that aren't are definitely feeling the difference. Satellite radar showing that, uh, yeah, we've got a little bit of moisture that's interfering with our warmth out there today. LAX cool and clear now, but it took so long for things to kind of clear out. The current temperature is on the cool side at 60 degrees. The folks in Santa Monica are in the low 60s as well with lots of sunshine there. And then we go to San Bernardino. Again, very different story. Yeah, it's the Inland Empire, but still very different temperatures, right? 60s, 90s, uh, and winds there are not a problem. Take a look at this temperature map. Again, very interesting stuff. I was kind of geeking out a little bit, I have to admit, as a meteorologist looking at what's going on here. Temperatures are in the 80s in Simi Valley and Van Nuys. You go to Ontario, you see 70s along the coast, very fall-like, with temperatures in the upper 50s and lower 60s. So this is what we're thinking here as we take a look at what we should expect. Again, we'll keep you posted if things change, just like they did today, as we get into tomorrow. Low 70s for the beaches, upper 70s for L.A. and Orange County. The valley's looking at 85 degrees, but notice we're not clearing it out like we did earlier. Uh, we had lots of sunshine on tap for at least tomorrow, but we're going to keep at least a chance of some clouds in. You cool down as we get into the end of the week, and then it looks like we still have that warm-up on tap as we get into the end of the weekend and the beginning of next work week. Inland areas will still see the full sunshine, 84 degrees tomorrow for the IE 76 for the high desert 50s for the mountains and then again cooling down as we get into the end of the weekend and boosting up just slightly for some of you as we look at the beginning of the work week that is a look at what we're doing with these up and down temperatures guys we'll send it back to you the gift of a toy means so much to a child in need with your help we can make the holiday special for kids in our community Join the CHP, CBS2, and KCAL9 for the Chips for Kids Toy Drive. To donate, you can text TOYS to 76278. Go to cbsla.com slash chips for kids, bring a new unwrapped toy to one of our drop-off locations, or visit your local CHP office. Together, let's make a difference. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy.